Hello, and uh, welcome back to another video. Um, today what we're going to be covering is uh, the replacement of a battery. Um, I plan on taking this uh, little backstory. I plan on taking this Galaxy, the 67 Galaxy, on a road trip this summer. And I'm getting everything ready for it. I gave it a tune-up, a uh, new air cleaner, a uh, new coil. Uh, it had a water pump last year, new water pump, so that's good. I checked that all over. Brakes have been checked over. Um, tires, everything's checked over. And the last, one of the last things I'm doing here is putting a new battery in. Now this time we've decided to go uh, a little bit better and uh, spring for the uh, more expensive Optima battery. And uh, as you see, um, I got it installed in here. And uh, from all I can tell, from all the reviews, it's uh, worth the uh, extra money. This one here cost me about $220. And I had it shipped. I had it, I bought it through eBay. You can also, I believe you can buy them through AutoZone or whatever your uh, parts dealer is. And, um, you know, so uh, one of the things that I stress on in cars is one of the things you do not want to cheap out on is uh, safety things and uh, like brakes, tires, um, things of that nature, wheels, and also battery. Um, I've been stuck a couple times with a bad battery that, uh, one time it blew up, completely blew up, and I had to walk a long way carrying a heavy battery from a store that I paid way too much money for, uh, just because I, would, I had no other choice. So, I'd rather spend the extra money here, get a good battery, and, uh, we'll see, we'll see how this works. Anyway, this battery here that I took out was a, uh, Walmart special it looks like yep it wasn't the worst but it's also about five years old as you can see that's 817 this battery uh there we go down here it has a mark of uh October of 20 so this battery's uh what we're gonna say four years newer than that battery um but brand new battery it's got thousand cranking amps 800 cold cranking amps and uh whatever the other specs are on that so i just installed it and one of the things i do when i install these batteries too is if you notice i put a thin layer of uh grease on the terminals that's to help prevent corrosion uh, from building up um i'm also taking uh sand down the uh terminals um there's Terminals from the battery were new, obviously, but I still gave him a quick sand and the uh, um, clamps. I also uh, took a little wire brush, a circular wire brush to the inside of each of them, tightened them down, made sure they were tight, and also made sure I had a um, a clamp, not a not a bungee cord or anything like that. A good a good clamp to hold the battery down. Um, this is two hundred thirty two hundred and uh, $20 battery. I don't want it flying around and getting damaged. So anyway, that's the story on that. Let's go see how uh, this car cranks up. This new battery in it. The old battery was getting a little bit tired, I could tell. It's taking a little bit longer to crank. And let's see what we got here. Wow. Didn't even hesitate. Just boom, right off. Wow, I am impressed. <clears throat> the uh, voltmeter is reading, what's she reading? 13 volts, 13 and a half, going to 14 volts. So, it's good. <coughs> anyway, um, just wanted to uh, do a quick video on that. Um, recommend the uh, uh, Optima battery uh, and anything that you care about. Um, skip the Walmart batteries and the junk batteries, and go for the good go for the good money batteries. 
it'll save you in the long run. Anyway, take care, enjoy your ranching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.